having live class at Achievement House Cyber Charter School is different than a live class in a brick and mortar school. In this lesson, we will be looking at what you should be doing during live class at AHCCS to make the most of the experience for the students. You should use your live class time to review content that's presented in the video lessons each week. You can use the time to review assignments that are due each week. You can also use the live class time to discuss and debate weekly content. First, you want to set the stage. You want to encourage the students to come to live class. Maybe send them email reminders the day before to remind them what time live class is. Just before class starts, you can send the class BBIM reminders. And you can even call the students to remind them to come to your live class. Once in live class, you want to welcome the students as they enter the room and encourage the students to use the live class time to ask questions. Just like you were taught to do in a brick and mortar school, you want to set the rules and expectations for the live class time. You want to establish the rules and expectations, encourage students to help you define those rules, and review and post the rules in your live class time every session. Tips. Don't just post the rules at the beginning of class. You want to post the rules a few slides into your live class to catch the kids who come late. Here's an example of some rules and expectations you may want to set for your cyber classroom. Encourage students to remove distractions. Encourage them to minimize BBIM, Facebook, and Twitter during class. Encourage them to close out YouTube and other websites that could be distracting. And tell them to put their cell phones down during your live class. Set the expectation that they should actively participate in the live class. Ask them for a minimum amount of private messaging. If they're private messaging during the live class, they're not paying attention to what you're doing. And encourage them to just be nice to each other and to you. If you set the expectation that you want them to participate in class, you have to make sure you make it interactive. Make sure you use your Blackboard features to encourage frequent participation. Use the chat box, emoticons, the whiteboard tools, polling features, breakout rooms, and even encourage them to get on audio and video. Using the interactive Blackboard tools is a way to make class engaging for the students but it's also a way for you as a teacher to check for understanding. Doing warm-ups at the beginning of class, checking for understanding during class, and using an exit ticket on the way out of class are all ways for a teacher to see if the students are understanding the material you're presenting. If you see a student present at class but disengaged and not participating, you want to address that situation during the live class. You can move the student who are not participating or responding to a breakout room. If possible, have a co-teacher call BBAM or text the student to remind them to participate in the live class. If you move the students to a breakout room, ask the student to raise his or her hand when they are ready to return to the main room. Teachers at AHCCS usually create the breakout room for these disengaged students before class starts, so you're prepared just in case you have some of these students to move. You can name the breakout room something like the busted room, time out, the penalty box, warm up space, waiting room, or the hive. It's best practice to probably name the room something on the positive side, like warm up, waiting room, or the hive. But remember to check on students frequently. You don't want to leave them in the breakout room the entire live class. 
instructs students to raise his or her hand when they're ready to join the main class again, and use the co-teacher for assistance to try to re-engage the students that are in the breakout room. It's helpful to post reminders or best practices for cyber school in these live classes as well. You can remind students to go to the subject area cafes for help, encourage them to not miss out and use Moodle to access assignments rather than the gradebook, encourage them to watch the entire video lesson before attempting the question. You should also encourage them to read their teacher feedback in the gradebook and reattempt or resubmit assignments. Let's do a quick check of what we've learned in this video lesson so far. When should you post classroom rules in your live class? At the beginning of the year? At the beginning of each class? A few minutes after the class begins? If you selected all of these, you would be correct. You can never post classroom rules too often. When should you use Blackboard interactive features? Every five minutes, every two minutes, as often as possible. You really want to encourage participation and check for understanding as often as possible in a cyber live class. I hope we've reached our objectives in this video lesson and you have a better understanding of what you can do during a live class at Achievement House Cyber Charter School. If you need help or have any questions, reach out to us.